Uh, let me say I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous here because. Um, I'm going to be talking to a lady from Brick and Lace, what you know as Brick and Lace. And she is not Nyanda. Don't say it like a shall. It's not, it's N Y A N D A, but it's Nyanda. And uh, she, um, uh, his, she has gone solo from uh, her sister uh, partnership and she's now doing big things here in Africa. Nyan, of course, I'm talking too much and the, the fellas must be asking, dude, get off the screen already. Let's meet this lady. And uh, yes, uh, we have, let me just connect her to the audio. Nyan, if you could just wave to Kenya and say hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, and I'm sure the fellas are looking at the ring finger, seeing that you're not married and uh, hoping for the best when you're planning to come. And there she says it. She's saying it. She's not married. And anyway, let's, let, me, let me give you a better view of uh, this. Yes. Can you see that, fellas? Okay. And even some band members are happy with the, the larger. Yes, yes. We see you. We see you. So... Let's start from the top. And what happened to Brick and Lace? Many know your love is wicked, never ever. Uh, but now you're growing to your own um, element. What happened? I wanted to like, you know, explore my own, you know, individuality, find out who I am as a woman. Because, you know, I grew up with three sisters. It's four of us sisters and we're very close. So you tend to find that when you're always together, you know, sometimes you need time apart and you, we get on each other's nerves sometimes, to, to be honest. So I think we decided, listen, let's take a break. I want to do my solo thing. I think she wants to pursue her solo thing as well. Right. And then after we'll come back and do another Brick and Lace album. You know, it's, you know a show is big when Brick and Lace uh, get in touch with you so they can get an interview. You know a show is big then. And uh, they got in touch with our producers. And uh, it's because she's, she has a lot of work happening in Uganda. You've been appointed an ambassador uh, recently. You were, you were down there in, in March. Um, what is the new appointment and what are you working on in Uganda? Are you getting married there? In <laughs> Uganda? I, I don't know, you know, I'm single, so who knows? <laughs> Fellas, are you listening? No. <laughs> I just did a big, I, I did a huge show, actually, in Uganda. It was great. It was a big um, Women's Day celebration, actually. And I um, spent a week there, and I was actually going to schools, going to various, you know, homes and stuff, and just speaking with the young ladies. And I'm all about, like, I love, you know, the reach a hand. You know, they approached me, they wanted me to be a part. And they're Goodwill Ambassador, it sounds so official. Right. You know, I was really glad to be a part of it because this time around, I don't want to just, you know, I don't want my life to be just about music. I definitely want to be able to use the music as a platform to do other things and to give back. And so for me, that's why that is, you know, so important what I'm doing with the reach I have. And it's just growing, you know, because the founder, Humphrey, he's doing great things. And like right now, we're just working on, we have, um, we want to definitely expand and go to different countries with Reach A Hand. So a lot of things right now are in the works. Spe I'll, you know? I'll, I'll get back to what you're doing as the Goodwill Ambassador for Reach A Hand. Uh, in your context and in your capacity as a musician. Uh, but you've talked about going to the rest of the continent and this is, this is the truth. I'm not just saying it because I'm on the trend. I was listening to South African because I like that quite a beat. And I, I managed to get uh, your song with Euphonic and Fresh. And you guys were starting off on a conversation on, on Twitter, I mean on Skype, and you were planning the journey there then for them to come to Miami, is it? And yes. they came all the way down there and you did a video, Cool and Deadly. And I tell you, folks, that song is deadly. Um, tell us about that project and how that was. Yeah, well, I was, you know, Cool and Deadly. That one just really happened. Like, it just really fell in my lap. Um, you know, they heard Cool, um, Euphonic and Fresh. Big them up, you know what I mean? Huge DJs in South Africa, just like killing it right now. You know, they reached out to me and they said they wanted to do a collaboration. So I was all up for it, definitely, you know. Um, we had this Skype call, right. similar to this. <laughs> and I hope we can do a collab with you. Cool and deadly, I can get the accent. Don't, don't, don't give up on me. Oh my gosh, but they were coming to Miami anyway, and they, I guess they knew that I live here. So they were like, can we link up? Can we make something happen? And we just, we just did. We got in the studio and it was just magic. It was one of those real moments where as an artist, 
you really love that kind of vibe because it just happens so naturally. Nothing forced, right? You know. Tell us about the the new music you've uh, you've um, worked on and uh, how you intend to use that with your position as the Goodwill Ambassador, especially uh, working with young girls and uh, you know avoiding teenage pregnancies in Uganda. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. That message is important to me. <laughs> And I, I'm trying to figure it out and juggle it as I go because this is the first time that I've ever been a part of something so close to an organization such as this, you know, but I, I definitely have to be true to myself as an artist. And, you know, even in Brick and Lace, Brick and Lace means feminine strength. So we've always been about the empowerment of women, you know what I mean? And um, I'm, it's, it's the same thing with me and my music. And um, sounds like slippery when wet, and sounds like I love sax. I'm hold on, hold on. I love what now? I love sax. <laughs> you know, this is a Jamaican accent, so you got to be clear. What are you talking about? It, it's the title is I love sax. S a x. S a x. S a x. S a x. Okay, all right. That's yeah. Beautiful. That's what we're talking about, of course. Yes. Definitely. I I will teach the ladies at an appropriate age. It's definitely very cool to embrace your sensuality and your womanhood. You know what I mean? I definitely preach that. But I think in my music and the way I carry myself, you know, specifically, you know, for songs like Slippery and I Love Sax, it's tastefully done and it's playfully done. So I feel like the girls, you know, they relate to that. But don't you, they relate to it, of course, um, but don't you think it contradicts with your role, uh, reaching out to ladies and avoiding teenage pregnancies when you're talking about uh, wet and slippery and, uh, and uh, I love <laughs> sex. Sax, sorry, sorry. Sax. Yes. Saxophone. Ah, Margot, saxophone. Sax too? It's yes. a saxophone. Have you seen the music video? Now we can actually play it. Uh, we have it. Yes, I love that. This is actually we are actually it's, kind of launching this video. Sure. Yeah, we're actually launching. I'm not. I'm not trying to get you to blush, but it's just that in Africa, when you bluntly uh, talk about these things like that, um, we kind of uh, you know um, shy away from that. Um, I don't know if my director really? wants to play. Yes, I, I, yes. My it sounds funny when my my director tells me he he has I love sex, but. He has it and is about to play it, so let's give it a second and let's just uh, give a listen to this. Uh, I love sax. Boys, like girls, who like girls, who like sax. I love sax, girls. Like girls, who like girls, who like sax. Watch this now. There's a lot of semantics there, and um, you know, what's the message that you're trying to get? This is an, an, your latest uh, single, right? I love sex. Yeah. And yes. actually, we are kind of just launching it uh, here on the trend for you, just launching it out there. Um, what What's the message? What's the vibe you're trying to get out there? Well, the reaction that I just saw you, I just saw you jam into it a while ago. That's just all I want. It's music, it's expression, we just jam into it. I say I love sex, I don't think it's too raunchy. It's tongue in cheek, Mark, you know what I mean? And I feel like in this climate for dancehall artists, Jamaican artists, right. we know that there is much more raunchy. I've been to Africa and I've seen, I've hung out in the clubs many times. I see some of the things that they play. And you know what I mean? It, I love sax is, to me, it's tame. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> In comparison. But I sleep well at night and I love my jam. <laughs> all right, all right. No, 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 no. Nothing about nothing against it. Um, it's just you coupling that with your role as the ambassador. Uh, when a lady hears this, and we're trying to get her to stay away from teenage pregnancies and what have you, how do you um, reconcile the two messages uh, to help as a goodwill ambassador? Messages. 
Right. There's other messages that are not in the song. You can't put every message in one song. Yeah. There's also yeah. messages about, you know, um, using condoms. There's contraceptives. There's family planning. There's other important messages that I can get out there. The music is just a tool. It gets everybody jamming. And then once I have the platform, then you can give more information. Yeah, That's man. The name of the game. We're going to take a break now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picking up on the, on the accent. Excuse me. But we'll take a break. But we'll continue after the break on what plans, what further plans you have uh, to travel and come and perform in Kenya. And of course, be here in studio. Well, then Larry will have uh, taken off the seat, but uh, you will be here on the trend, hopefully. So you'll tell us more about that. Someone has just written on Twitter and said, Nyanda ni vitima. That means you're like lightning, hot strike. That's what they mean. That's what they mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The modesty is evident. <laughs> yes, and Mark, we were getting pretty hot with that conversation before. Right, right, right. It's because of the lights in the studio. <laughs> really, yeah, we had to turn off the AC. It was getting too hot. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Someone else is asking whether you could do a collab with uh, our artist, Red San. Um, Red Sun, you know, I met him there when me and Nyla, when Brickhandley's came there and performed. By the way, he's he's very hot, right, ladies? He's uh, really cute. Okay. But he and I were supposed to do a collaboration for the longest time, so I have a feeling it's going to happen now. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get my producer's Black Lion to hook up a hot track for us, and we'll get our collab going. We'll get our what now? The collab. Collab with oh, Red right, Sun. right, right. Excuse me, my Kenyan ears. And uh, so speaking of which, when you're coming to do the collab, what plans do you have for Kenya, your travels to Kenya? Because you're just, you'll be next door in uh, Uganda in your role as a Goodwill Ambassador. Uh, any plans? Listen, I want to come back to Kenya. I haven't been there. It's going to be more exciting for me because I have never performed just as Nyanda. And I definitely want the Naya tribe, who are my fans, to see what I'm about, to see this music and to join the movement. And I can feel the energy from Kenya, so I have a feeling I'm going to be coming there soon. Very soon. I really do want to, yeah. And I have to ask this, what's your sister up to? She's she's also working on her music as well. Right. Um, yeah. It, it, it was all good, it wasn't bad, bad blood, and she's just focusing on growing as well as you? That's no bad blood between me and her. I love her, I love Brick and Lace. We're going to get back and do another Brick and Lace album. She's doing her thing, I'm doing mine. You know, right now it's about Nyanda, so you know, for Wanda. <laughs> Joke. Wow. But she's doing her thing, and I support her. You know, I wish her all the best. I, you know, it's funny because now that we're trying to do such separate projects, we don't really um, get involved in each other's music now, because otherwise it would come out like brick and lace, yes. which is nuts. You know what I mean? So we have you to kind of on a creative tip, stay away from each other. But at a sisterly level, we just, you know what I mean? My girl. All right. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, end it here, and that's where all the guys go, ah. Uh, oh, but... It was too quick. It was too quick. I have to come there and hang out. Of Love course. Them. The trend. Yeah. Everyone says yes yeah. in chorus. <laughs> <Love trend. laughs> well, thank you very much, Nyanda. Uh, and uh, we really look forward to hosting you here on The Trend when you come down to Kenya. And all the best in your uh, ambassadorial duties as a Goodwill Ambassador, of course, for Reach a Hand in Uganda. Salutes. <laughs> all right.